Well, I'm Brett DeFries and I'm a farm planner with the Snohomish Conservation District. Today I'm going to be talking about heavy use areas. Common terms associated with heavy use area is sacrifice area, winter paddock, or confinement area. You know, the reason why we call it a sacrifice area is because this is the area that will get the most use. It's just going to get trampled and hammered. And that's why they call it a sacrifice area. You're, you're willing to give this amount of space up so that the rest of your property will have an opportunity to rest and survive. Most of our requests that we get from property owners are that they're battling mud. And so we go out and we assess the situation and the heavy use area is really the solution in dealing with mud. So when the rains come in and saturate the soil, that's when you should pull the animals off of pasture and bring them into the heavy use area. My name is Kelly Cahill. I'm an engineer with the Snohomish Conservation District. Brett's already talked about why we need heavy use areas and um, I'd like to talk a little bit about how we get a heavy use area put on the ground. The heavy use area isn't in a place where people are gonna use them um, then they're not going to do anybody any good. So it's really important from a chore efficiency standpoint that the heavy use areas are in a place that the landowners can use them and that it's convenient for the horses to get in and out and be moved around in them. It's critical that they stay maintained. And when I say maintained, I mean picking manure. And it's a daily recommendation with heavy use areas is that you pick the manure every day. Because as those horses or any type of livestock in a heavy use area, they, as they move around when they're confined, they start to push that manure into the surface. So in this case, that layer of 5 8 gravel, if, if uh, picking manure was neglected, over time that nice hardened surface would become compromised. When we talk about sizing a heavy use area, there's a couple things to consider. How much property do you have to allocate to this heavy use area? Um, number two is, you know, how active your horses are. Um, you know your horses better than anybody. The general rule of thumb I've typically worked with is about 400 square feet per animal for a heavy use area. So 20 by 20, 10 by 40, um, dimensions such as that. So the first thing we typically look at when we um, do a planning site visit is to, to look at the topography and look at some of the drainage issues that may be associated with the area. Uh, some of the things you want to watch out for or, or pay attention to are um, adjacent slopes, um, buildings that uh, may have roof gutters uh, running into them, driveways that may be um, diverting a lot of water into them. Anything, any kind of feature that's going to dump water onto your heavy use area you need to figure out a way to get it away from your heavy use area. Your heavy use area needs to be far enough away from any adjacent stream or any adjacent water body so it's not going to contaminate that water body. It's easier to build a heavy use area on fairly flat ground. Having a tabletop is not ideal. You still need a bit of a slope just to carry water away. Another contributor of, of water to potential heavy use areas is drainage off of, of roofs, especially if a barn is, is next to the potential heavy use area. So just getting gutters and downspouts on your barn or your adjacent structure will probably go a long way in helping you manage the water on your heavy use area. Another important component of the heavy use area is the, um, is the crushed rock that we place on top of it to provide the footing for the horse to essentially stay safe and to uh, keep a mud-free area for the horses. What we typically specify is a 5 8 inch minus crushed rock, which I have in my hand here. And what you'll notice about this material is um, it is crushed. There's a lot of fractured faces on this material. The benefit of having all those fractured faces is when you compact it, it stays compacted. The, the pieces lock together so you get a nice stable surface. When you talk to your contractor or talk to us, we'll help you with the selection of the, uh, of the footing to get a really good crushed material that's gonna lock together. When determining or trying to decide what type of fencing you're gonna use, you need to take into consideration you know, the livestock that you have. 
So if you have horses, you're going to want something that, number one, isn't going to cause any lacerations. But the ultimate goal when fencing is to keep things in. When we begin to build a heavy use area, the first thing that, that we really want to do is we want to build a good subgrade for it. So what we typically want to do is we want to strip away any organic material that may be in your heavy use area. We want to reshape it so that it drains to one side. It's really important that water sheet from one side of the heavy use area off to a nice, stable, well-vegetated area. Once we rough out the heavy use area and scrape out all the organics and flatten it out, we're going to put some filter fabric on top of that or some geotextile which is going to keep the soil from essentially migrating up into the gravel that you're going to put down on top of that. That's probably one of the more important components of a heavy use area. It separates the gravel from the subgrade so that you continue to have a nice stable foundation. We'll bring in crushed rock and we're going to spread it out on top of the uh, fabric and compact it. Paying attention to keeping it nice and moist so that it compacts nice and evenly and again finishing off the slope so that it's on the same slope as the, uh, as the foundation. 